Today we're going to be doing a mom butt lift class and as moms after pregnancy, during pregnancy, we tend to tuck under our pelvis to compensate for the weight that is forward. And by doing this, we often are tucking under the glutes, leading to a flat bump and a tight pelvic floor. So we want to strengthen the glutes again after we've had a baby. And I'm going to be using a pair of socks. You can use sliders, or if you don't have a floor that's conducive to sliding, you can even just step. I'm also going to be using a set of um, ankle weights, and we're going to start, this is totally optional, you don't have to use the ankle weights, but we're going to start by putting them around our wrists. So this class is going to be glute focused, but we're also going to be getting into the arms a bit, the shoulders and the core. So we're going to be making it kind of full body with a focus on the glutes. So place this around your wrists. And then we're going to start standing, really get it into the glutes. Okay, so you can come, you can push your mat aside for now. And then we're going to start by taking a nice roll down. So roll out the shoulders and then tuck the chin, rolling down vertebra by vertebra, soft bend in the knees, rolling, rolling, rolling slowly until your hands meet the floor. You can grab your elbows and just sway side to side, just waking up the body, waking up the spine, waking up the hamstrings, because we're also going to get into the hamstrings. Come back to center, take your hands down, and then roll up vertebra by vertebra till you get back to standing. Let's do another one. Shrug the shoulders, circle the shoulders, rolling down, tucking the chin, nice rounding through the back and then rolling up again on our inhale. <sighs> okay, I want you to take your left leg forward now and your right leg back. So you are flexing that back foot and then I want you to hinge. So you're pushing your, your butt back. You're not sliding forward, you are hinging forward. Okay, you can take your arms up above your ears. Now, I want you to press that left foot into the floor and you're just going to point and flex that back foot so you're trying to reach that heel down towards the floor staying in that hinge position your spine is straight exhale as you point inhale lower the heel down stretching through that hamstring perfect i want you to lift up your toes or keep your toes on the floor, but lift up the heel, and then you're going to slide that foot in and bring the arms down. Take it out. So all the weight is in that left foot, in that left heel, in the left glute. Whew, this is gonna get your heart rate up, so stay with me. We're gonna go for another four more. Keep that nice hinge, keep that flat back, straight spine. Neck is in line with the spine. Your gaze is slightly downwards. On your next one, you're going to bring the foot forward. Take it out in front of you, lowering down into a squat on the left leg. Take it back, take it forward. So add a nice little bounce in there to really get into the glute. You should already be feeling that left glute working hard. Okay, keep that leg nice and straight as you take it out in front. Stay with me. Okay, take it back. We're going to circle it around to the front. Circle it back. Woo, stay with me. Keep the arms straight. Arms are working hard. Shoulders are working hard. Exhale, take it back. Keep your balance. Keep your gaze focused on something in front of you. Okay. Now you're going to take that foot up to the side. Can you give me little pulses on that left glute? Whew. Let's go for another four, three, two, one. Ah. Shake it out. Shake it out. Okay. Whew. Did you feel the burn in that left glute? We're really working on strengthening it. Let's do a little bit of an arm series. So you can bring your elbows in towards your waist. I want you to rather bring them forward than back. 
and you're just going to externally rotate your arms. So just opening and closing, keeping the elbows in towards the waist. I feel like I'm already out of breath. And we've just started class, so we started class strong. Okay, on your next one, you can hold it out, turn your palms facing towards the ceiling, take it out, bending it back in. Squeeze the back as you bend those arms back in, squeezing that waist. Okay. Whew. Told you this was going to be a full body with focus on the glutes. We're just giving the glutes a little bit of a break before we go into the other side, giving our mind a little bit of a break because that was hard work. Okay, take the hands out, take them forward, take them out to the side. I want you to make sure that as you're doing this, you're not taking your hands back behind your shoulders and focus on squeezing that chest as you bring the hands in front of you. Exhale, squeeze. Okay, take them out to the side, lifting up, lowering. Are your arms burning yet? because we're going to finish them out again when we do the other side. Okay, shoulders down and back, making sure you're not piking your shoulders up to your ears. Okay, last one. Take it out to the side, then just flip your palms up and down. Get into that rotation of the arm. Your arms should be burning, they should be on fire. That's totally normal. And then you're going to release that, take it down, shrug at the shoulders. We're going to go into the other side. So we're going to be working the right glutes now. And I hope I'm not going too fast for you. But we're going to get this done, and we're going to get it done well. So take that right foot forward, left foot back into this high lunge. Now your spine is straight. I want you to hinge at the hips, pushing the, hins, the hips back. So you're not leaning forward. You are pushing the hips back, coming into your hinge, and you have a flat back. The left heel is lifted, take your arms up overhead, and you're just going to flex and point that left foot. Exhale, lifting. And now you might find that you have more mobility in the one side than the other. I definitely have more mobility in my left side. So just flexing and pointing, keeping in that hinge, and then on your next one, you're going to lift the heel, slide it in as you bring the arms down. Take it back out, pick it up the pace. So this class is getting your heart rate up, but it's also strengthening, which is so important. After pregnancy, you want to get into strengthening your muscles again. Exhale as you bring the arms in. Put the weight in that right heel. On your next one, take it back, take the foot forward, getting deeper into a squat. Take it back, give me a nice little bounce as you do this. It's really going to burn up the glutes even more. Okay, keeping that belly button to spine, so we're working the core as well. Okay. Let's go for another two. Last one, take it back, hold those arms up, circle it forward, circle it back. Whew. Keep your gaze on something in front of you. Okay. Exhale forward, inhale back. We're almost there, stay with me. On your next one, take it out to the side, little pulses with that right leg up and down. Last four, three, Two, one, release. Okay, catch you my breath. Now I want you to grab your mat. Just unfold it, not all the way. So we want to use some floor space here when we come into our glute bridges now. Okay. Just flatten the mat and then you're going to come down onto your mat. I want you to make sure that there's enough space. You're going to place your feet on the floor. So I want you to make sure that your mat isn't in the way. You're going to roll down onto your back. Okay. Now, we can place our ankle weights around our ankles. 
as we're going to get into some more glute work. We're done with the arms for now. Okay, so place it around your ankles. And then we're just going to start with some glute bridges. So I want you to make sure your pelvis is in a neutral position now. So there's a slight gap between your waist and the mat. Press your hands into the floor. Your feet are in towards the glutes. And you're going to lift up into a bridge. Lower back down. Exhale, lift and squeeze. Keeping that core connection, that ribs hip connection, so that there's a slight tuck under of the pelvis. Okay. Exhale as you lift. Inhale as you lower. And as you lift, you're not lifting up too high that you are arching in the back and opening up the hips. You're keeping that rib to hip connection. Okay. On your next one, you're going to hold it up here. We're going to point lower. So we're lifting and lowering the, the heels. Exhale, lift. Keeping the hips up. Keeping the hips level. You can place your hands on your hips for your next one. You're going to slide the right foot out. Now make sure as you do this, you're not dipping the hip towards the side. You're lifting it up, keeping it level, slide it back in. Let's go to the left side. So we're just alternating, sliding in, sliding out, keeping the hips as still as possible. And to keep them as still as possible, we want to maintain that core connection. Maybe you can pick up the pace a little bit, get into the heels. And then we're going to slide both legs out. We're on our heels. There's a nice long line in our legs and just lower lift. So now you'll feel this a lot more in the hamstrings, which is fine because we want to strengthen the hamstrings as well. Okay. Let's go for another three, two, one. Hold it. Take your feet out towards the side tapping the pinky toe towards the floor, and then take the big toes together. So we're going into internal, external rotation, getting into the mobility. And we're gonna do that more in the next exercise. Okay, just alternating, internal, external, take it back to center, lower the hips down, hug the knees in towards the chest, take a nice release, <sighs> nice rock out for the lower back. Okay, then when you're ready, release that. We're going to untuck the mat and come down onto our mat, onto our right-hand side. Okay, so make sure your knees are bent, your feet are in line with your glutes, you are lifting up out of the shoulder, out of the side waist, the elbow is underneath the shoulder, connecting to that core, hips are stacked, lift the feet up, flex the feet, and you're just gonna open Close. So we're coming into our clam, getting into that external rotation. So we're getting into that side booty, which is so important for a round booty. A lot of people focus on the glute max, which is the main muscle in the booty, the biggest. And often times people forget the glute med, the glute min, which are important pelvic stabilizers, especially during pregnancy, when our pelvis is under a lot more strain. We've got prolactin, the pelvis is shifting, hold it open, extend that leg, kick, keep the knee turning outward, bend it back in, lower it back down. Exhale, keep that external rotation, keeping that foot up, the glutes are gonna get tired. And that's also what you'll notice is that the glute med and the glute min, they're much smaller muscles, so they get tired more quickly. Okay, let's go for another four. Exhale, open, kick. Flex the feet. Whew. Last two. Push up out of the shoulder, out of the side waist if you've lost it. Okay, lower the bottom leg down. Take the foot towards the ceiling. Exhale, lift, inhale, lower. So now this is internal rotation. We're getting into that glute min, stabilizing the pelvis. We want to, yes, we want to strengthen our glutes, but we want to make sure we are strengthening all our glutes and having functional glutes. So you can get up off the floor when you pick your baby up 
or your toddler or your teenager. Okay. Next one, you're going to extend that leg long, push up out of the shoulder, out of the sideways, lift lower. Keep that isometric hold in the obliques. Lifting and lowering. You might notice that you don't get as high. I want your knee facing, shining forward. Okay. You're going to lift, tap in front, exhale, lift, tap behind into hip extension. Keep the upper body still, keep the hips still. Try and plant this knee down towards the mat as you lift up and over. Keep that core connection. The core is working hard to stabilize. Let's go for two, one. Take it back in, tap it out. Are you ready to go into the other side? Because that's what we're going to do. We're going to go straight into the other side. Take a nice stretch. So bring your knees in, turn you over to the other side, take your arm up and over. Nice stretch here. Stretching out that left side, the obliques, the glutes. And then take your arm down towards the mat. OK. Rest in your forearm down. Make sure that your feet are in line with the glutes. You're pushing that top hip away so that there's nice space, a nice opening here, connecting to that core. Flex the feet, bring the feet up, open, close. Exhale as you open, inhale as you close. <sighs> Stay with me, press up. Keep that core connection. Keep that mind to muscle connection, getting into the glute, and you might feel it on this side more because we just work the side to help stabilize us on the other side. On your next one, you're gonna hold it open, kick, externally rotate that foot, that leg. It's harder when your leg is extended to externally rotate. But we want to get into all planes of movement for the glutes. Functional glutes, functional body, Okay, strengthening in the glutes, getting rid of that mom butt that no one wants. <laughs> okay, last one. Take it all down, internal rotation, lift the foot up towards the ceiling, exhale, lift, inhale, lower. <sighs> and you might notice you're not getting as high, and that's okay. If you can only lift your foot, your leg, knee up this high, that's okay. Just go with your own range of motion. You'll get stronger, you'll get more mobilized as you go along. Extend that leg long, lift, lower, press up out of the shoulder, out of the side waist. Okay. Keep that leg long, knee facing forwards. Next one, take it forward, take it back. Tap forward, tap back. Keep this knee pressing towards the ground. Up and over. Into back into hip extension so we get that glute max as well. And we're gonna work that glute max more now. Last one. Take it back and then take it in. So come to the other side, come up and over, give me a nice stretch. Oh, stretching out the glutes, out that side waist. And then we're going to come to a prone position on the mat. I want you to bring your elbows forward now so that there's a long angle. And then you're going to externally rotate your feet. They're going to be about mat distance apart. I want you to drop your core so belly button lifts from the mat. Take your shoulders down from your ears. You're just going to lift that right leg into hip extension, lowering it back down. Exhale, lift the left leg, lowering it back down. And we're just alternating from side to side. But I want you to notice here that as we alternate, you're not moving the pelvis. The pelvis isn't shifting. And we do that by stabilizing through the core, through that belly button. On your next one, you're going to lift both at the same time, lowering it back down. Now, if you have any pain by your pubic bone, just double up the mat and then lower down. And you can lift and lower. Exhale. 
getting into the hamstrings, you'll feel your hamstrings work, your glutes, maybe even a little bit of your lower back. On your next one, you're going to hold it up, bend it in, toes tap, take it out again, extend those legs. Exhale, bend, inhale, extend it long, keeping up in that hip extension, working that glute max. Okay, let's go for another two. Last one, lengthen through those legs, take it down. Press back into a shell stretch. Stretching the glutes, stretching the back. Nice counter stretch for the back. And then we're going to finish class doing some planking. So we're going to be getting into the core and into the glutes a bit as well. We want to finish class strong, so you're going to fold up your mat, making sure that there's enough space behind you. Hold it up nicely. And as you do that, you can place your hands on the edge of your mat so that there's a little bit more of an angle. This will help your wrists. And then you're going to slide back into a nice plank. So I want you to really scoop in the abs, press the floor away. Think of that rib tip connection. Lift your kneecaps up towards your pelvis. And then you're just going to slide one foot in at a time, keeping the rest of the body still. Exhale, bend it in. Okay. Can you take it out to the side after this one? Other side. Keep that core connection. Stay with me. Class is nearly over. And if you don't have socks or sliders, you can just tap your foot out. Okay, last one. Push back to a downward dog. Take a little bit of a release. And then we're going to lower down into our plank again. Bring the right foot in, tap the knee, lift it up, bring nose to knee, lowering it back down. Exhale. So we're getting into the core, into the abs. Last one. Taking it back out, left side, tap the knee, lift, lower. Last two, crunching in, lowering that knee down, taking it out, come up to your plank, and then you're going to lower all the way down, pressing up into a nice one, opening up the abs from the work that we just did. Take a nice release here, then you're going to press back to a nice shell stretch. Okay, untuck the mat. Let's just finish with a quick stretch. You can take your ankle weights off now. Okay, extend the left, the right leg long. Bring the left foot to the inside of the thigh. Lift up, lengthen through the spine. Take the arms up, reach over the right leg. Nice hamstring stretch, stretching out the hamstrings, elongating. Take the left leg over the right. Lean back, bring that right foot in, lifting up, opening up the chest. Feeling a nice release in the glute. Release that. And then we're going to go into the other side, bring the right foot in, lift up and over the left leg. Feeling a nice stretch in the back. Take the right leg over the left, lean back, bring that left leg in, push that right knee away, open up the chest. Just calming the nervous system down. Releasing there. 
And that's it for today's class. If you have enjoyed this video, please subscribe, like this video, and leave me a comment. Let me know how you found it, how your mom butt feels, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye, guys.